Okay, so on the topic of odd, um, I'd like to take us to the Orioles and not the broadcast situation that's been covered at length on this show. Um, is there space available at Camden Yards coming up for us to potentially rent it out and use it for FT Live or anything else since apparently that gorgeous ballpark is being somewhat rejected by John Angelos unless they build him uh, Disneyland around it? Well, Scott, the way the situation works right now is they have a lease and it expires December 31st. They have yet to negotiate a new lease, even though at the moment that lease is completed, they are going to get from the state of Maryland $600 million. You would think that might be enough. But John Angelos, who is the managing chairman of the Orioles right now, and the governor of Maryland, Wes Moore, have talked about, both of them have talked about, doing in the immediate surrounding area of Camden Yards, kind of what the Braves did in Atlanta. The problem is the land for that does not exist. And maybe you could do some little things, maybe build a garage in one of those parking lots to create more space. You have vertical garage going upward and maybe there's more room somewhere else. But it seems to me that that's a real problem. And John Angelos has been pretty clear. He'd like to replicate the Battery Atlanta. He wants to do some things around the ballpark to enhance the whole experience. He wants to make money like the Braves are making money down there. I don't see, from what I've been told, how that is going to be possible. It certainly is not possible in the same way. The Battery Atlanta takes up 60 acres. There's not 60 acres around Camden Yards. It's in the middle of a city. So what he's holding out for is not exactly clear. What he wants out of all this is not exactly clear. But I will tell you this. There aren't a lot of professional sports teams in this country right now that are getting $600 million in public money and having that available to them merely by signing a lease. The Ravens had the same deal, the NFL Ravens. They signed a lease in January, I believe, a long-term lease to 2037, and they got their money for stadium upgrades. That's what the $600 million is for, ballpark upgrades. I don't know where this is going. The reason I wrote what I did yesterday is because I hear that it's not going smoothly, despite the governor and John Angelos repeatedly saying all is well. If all was well, that lease would be signed by now. It's August. They've got till December 31st. At one point, John Angelos had said he hoped to get this done by the All-Star break. That is not happening, has not happened. And everyone around this situation does expect it to get done. But if you followed the Angelos family over the years, both John and his father, Peter, Peter, of course, the owner of the team for so long. He's been incapacitated since 2018. These guys can protract negotiations like few others. And it seems that that is what is going on. Okay. In your article, you said, like, there's some, like, Angelos had given to Moore's campaign. I think it was Moore's campaign. Yes. And also to the Democratic, you know, kind of like a fund that also funded Moore's campaign. Doesn't there seem to be a need for a little more transparency or, or am I just asking for wind here? Am I, am I grasping at straws? Because it just doesn't seem like there's enough transparency ever with Angelos, but well, in like a stadium situation. In this case, Eric, I just pointed that out in the article because it shows the relationship between these two and they have a close relationship. Now, those numbers are accessible to the public. It's not as if they're hiding them. The $6,000 that he gave to Moore's campaign is the maximum allowed under election law. So from that perspective, I don't know that anything's being hidden. But the point I made in the article is I don't know that Wes Moore is going to undercut John Angelos publicly if indeed there are problems behind the scenes, as others have indicated, when John Angelos was a campaign donor. Hey, Ken, do you feel like this is a trend in Major League Baseball? I've heard about this where owners are essentially jealous of the Braves. It's worked out so well. They basically buy all of the land around them. You create a mini city. And I don't know all the details here, so I could be a little off, but whatever. Um, you can take losses on buying things and take losses on the team and then split it up. There's a lot of fancy uh, business work to be done here and a ton of money to be made. So every owner's looking and going, I can create a massive new revenue stream. The Cubs have done this to an extent too. And yeah. it's a much nicer area. Cardinals. Do you feel 
Cardinals, yes. Do you feel like that's a trend and that's a jealous owner here? Also just seeking out an opportunity where he can perhaps not only make his franchise a lot more money on the short term, but eventually you figure hopefully he sells. The Johns both hopefully sell Fisher and Angelo someday to save us all. So do you think do you feel like that's a, a business thing going on in this sport in particular? Because you have more volume in terms of baseball games? Yes. And I don't know if jealousy is the right word, Scott, but an owner in Baltimore sees an owner in Atlanta doing what he's doing or what they are doing. It's a Liberty Media entity that owns the team. And sure, they want to duplicate exactly that experience because it does create a lot of revenue. And in Baltimore, I will say this for John Angelos, he does have a feel for the city, does have a desire to make the city a better place. And it's gone backwards a little bit downtown in recent years. And that's part of his motivation. There's no question about it. But does he want to make money? You bet he wants to make money. And you mentioned the Cardinals. They've done it. The Red Sox have talked about revitalizing the area around Fenway a little bit, if I'm not mistaken. All teams would love to do this. Sometimes it's achievable. Sometimes it's more difficult. It just seems to me from the people I've spoken with that around Camden Yards, unless you give the Orioles those parking lots to build on, which the state is not going to do. The Ravens have rights to those parking lots as well. I don't know how this gets done. 